But first, you know, Santa Claus, very busy this time of year. Yes, but you and your family, you still have a few chances to see him around town. Get, he's, he's actually here. How about In this? fact, you can see I, him right now. This is a huge whoa, whoa, booking. Whoa, whoa. Exactly. Well, this exactly. is the biggest. Yeah. Gianna Kordansky from Family Fun Twin Cities. Gianna, you got Santa. Santa, that is, I'm that is good. personal assistant. I keep his books. Well, well, it's all right busy there. Busy time right of year. Here. Yeah, he is so busy. And, you know, some of us have been busy and we've kind of lagged on going to visit Santa and time is, you know, time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. But is there a different way to do it depending on how old the kids are? There are some places that are better for different ages. Like this Friday from 5 to 7 um, at the Wishing Tree Play Cafe in White Bear Lake mm -hmm. is a perfect place for little toddlers to go. You need to pay to play there to okay. meet Santa. But they'll, you'll totally want to. It's very low key. It's very welcoming, and it's if they're a little cautious about Mr. Old Saint Nick here, mm -hmm. it's a really good place for them to meet him. Right, Santa. It's good to have a when you're with little toddlers. It's nice to have a, a lot of them around. Ho ho ho. Well, you know, it can go one of either ways. The first <laughs> child cries. Usually, we have a whole group it's of kids crying. It's a domino crying. effect. Exactly. <laughs> but then the little kids see, oh, he's not that bad. Look, he's having fun up there. I think I should go see him too. Okay, Santa, you oh. had this toy I was kind of looking oh, at. Oh, it's can not a explain? toy. Oh, what it's is it? my naughty and nice meter, fresh from the North Pole. And if you open it up, you'll see the actual meter. Okay, this is the actual meter. This is from the North Pole? <laughs> and is, I use that how to are, tell how me. Are you how am I doing? Susan What's Lizzie? happening? How's right. this going? Oh, She's oh a, uh, you're on a nice list. Oh, good. You're doing really well this morning. All right. Well, tell me about this because we've all seen a lot of funny photos uh, when kids put them in, or parents put kids in Santa's lap. Do you have any advice for parents so that kids, maybe it's a little bit of a calmer experience for them? Yeah, so the first thing you do is let Santa warm up to the child. Okay. What I do is a lot of high five and fist bumps. Sure. Because every child likes doing high fives. It's very true. And it, you can see a child who's sitting there crying will not leave mommy or daddy. Then all of a sudden do a high five and a couple fist bumps. Okay. Next thing you know, they're right next yeah. to you. And pretty soon, they may not come up on your knee, but they'll sit right next to me. Gianna, let's give people a couple more ideas. You mentioned the one for toddlers. What else do you have? Um, well, if you want if a little bit older kids, it's really mm -hmm. good to go to Santa's Train Shop at the Minnesota Transportation Museum that happens this weekend. It's the last weekend. And even if you have teens and tweens, they're going to love the free play at Bachman's at Lindale's. Ah, and yes. this is the last weekend for that as well. This weekend, Bachman's on Lindale. All right. Very good. Well, thank you. And thank you, Santa. Well, you got a lot of work to do. Well, I got to check my naughty and nice meter to see who's on the naughty or nice list. I'm not okay. even going to try. Yeah, you should do I don't it, Jason. Know. I don't want to play with fire, Santa. We don't <laughs> want the. Oh. You're right on the borderline. You're about number eight. That's about right. Out of one <laughs> through fifteen. Right. <laughs> okay. You're always a goal before Christmas Eve. Yeah, you're not the first to tell me that, Santa. <laughs>